Okay, for this problem we want to find the exact value and we want to use the properties of logs. So make sure you watch the video that comes before this one uh, that talks about the properties of logarithms because it'll make this problem make more sense because I will be referring back to the, the number of the rules for each of these. So make sure you have a chance to watch that one first. So if you've already watched it already, we'll go ahead and we'll uh, answer these questions. The first one, log base 3 of 3 raised to negative 5. This is going to be an example of rule number four, if you look at the rules that were in the notes. So rule number four says that uh, if these two numbers match, your answer is just equal to the exponent. Uh, another way of looking at that, instead of using that rule, is I could also bring the power down in front by using rule number five, and then look at log base three of three is going to be one. So I actually have a couple different ways of doing that, but primarily the easiest way of looking at that is since these match, the answer is simply going to be negative five. Now let's suppose you wanted to use rule number five on part B. Okay, we could bring the six down front. You have six times ln e, and then ln e we had before in one of our examples when we talked about in the previous video. That's equal to one, so that would be six times one would give you six. So that's another way of looking at it as well. Or we could just use rule four directly and say, okay, we can just cancel it out completely and that's gonna be equal to six. So either way you wanna look at that, both, and, both of those would be uh, correct. If we look at uh, part C, that's gonna be using rule number seven. So we're gonna do log three, that's gonna be 21 over seven. We're gonna change the subtraction sign into division. So again, for that rule for number seven, we are allowed to go both directions. We can either start with it on this side and put it into a single log, or we can have, sometimes we'll have a single log, we wanna break it up into two logs. In this case, you're allowed to go either direction, so in our case, we wanted to take it from two logs into a single one, and that's why we have it as a division. We're not done yet, we wanna keep on going. 21 over seven, we can do that. We get log three of three, and then that right there, the same reason I talked about for part A, that would really be the same thing, that's gonna be equal to uh, one right there. Uh, again, that's because you've got, that's really using rule number two where you have these two are the same. Again, that's saying three to one is equal to three. That's why that rule works. So that's really gonna use rule number two there. Uh, for this one, we first start with the exponent part. And the exponent part, that's gonna be using rule number six. We'll take the plus and we'll turn it into a multiplication. We're gonna do that first. So we start with the exponent, that's gonna be log five of six times seven. So again, we're taking the, the two logs, turning it into a single one, that's a multiplication there, so six times seven. That gives log five, and the exponent here, 42. Now, we have a five down here and a five here. This is gonna use rule number three. Rule number three is where you have this and this match. That's gonna cancel, that's gonna give you 42 is the answer. So again, each of these, you should not have any, any logs for your answers on these kind of problems. If they give you numbers, your answer should just be a regular single number. And that's what they mean by exact value. Exact value means that you wanna actually have a, a number answer, whether it's a, a, it might be a fraction or it might be a regular number, positive, negative. We just want an exact value for this one.